Are you telling me that not everyone who moves to Idaho stays here forever? What? I'm going to tell you why people are bouncing. The number one reason why people leave Idaho is family reasons. Family, family, family. Here at Go Idaho, we're about family first. That's how we operate. And for you in your life, family first. And that's why the majority of people who move to Idaho, peace out. Matter of fact, I have someone right now who I've relocated here to the beautiful Eagle Legacy neighborhood. And guess what? I was shocked. They called me and they said, hey, Greg, we have to leave. We got to get closer to family because our parents are a little bit older and we can't do it here from this location. So they're out. And that's part of the reason why so many people are bouncing. I have another great family who I recently relocated from, hate to say it, Oakland, California. Gross. They are living a paradise life here right now. They have the most beautiful home, the most beautiful setup, the most incredible view out of their house towards the Boise foothills. And they call me and they say, Greg, we got to go. We got to get out of here. And I'll tell you why. And it's reason number two, employment. He has a great job. Now, this is probably a very common scenario for a lot of people who are moving here where one spouse is here, the other one is commuting back and forth because they have a really good high paying job in California or in another state. And the medical benefits they receive are far greater than if they were to start over and kind of hit the bottom of the rung here in Idaho, either in law enforcement or in the fire department. This particular individual, he is law enforcement. He's high up in his ranking and for him to come to Idaho and start over at the Meridian PD or the Boise PD, he would take a major pay cut and his wife would have to go back and get a job. Well, that that doesn't work because their kid has you know some medical issues. And so with his insurance and his pay, she needs to be home. And man, they are heartbroken to leave this beautiful setup that they've created for themselves. They poured a lot of money into their home to make it just even more beautiful and they are having to pack up and go because it just doesn't make sense. It kind of ties back to the first reason why people are leaving is family. So employment is a number two reason why people end up coming here and then bouncing. It just the Idaho pay is not near some of the pay in other cities and markets. Show me the money. <laughs> the number three reason why people are just piecing out of Idaho is the cost, which surprises me because I've done a lot of videos about the cost of the living, how it's more affordable here, how you know everything's a little bit less expensive than in other states. Well, I think people are just fed up. Now, I don't know if these are homeowners or renters, but a lot of people are fed up with the fact that they can't buy a home because the prices and interest rates are so high and the rents are just crazy unreasonable for a lot of people. So in my opinion, I think a lot of these people um, are trying to get into a home um, or they're you know on a fixed salary and the property taxes are high. I have a client who I moved out of Eagle up to Fruitland area because they're on a fixed income and they their property taxes kept going up and so they were like you know what we need to get to a more rural area um, out in Idaho still but outside of Ada County and, and Canyon County where the taxes are a little bit more favorable but a lot of people are just saying you know what we're out I know a family right now they're going to Ohio they are they can't afford to buy a home here and for some reason in Ohio they can get some land they can get you know whatever they want out there for a lot less of a cost all right so I mentioned cost of living as one reason why people are bouncing out but honestly the cost of living is still far better than let's just say California where the utility bills are way less the water bills are way less so just the garbage and sewer is way less and so you're still saving a lot of money if you're coming from that state of California and coming to Idaho. The fourth reason why people are bouncing out of Idaho is retirement. And I mentioned this, you know, that couple who went up to Fruitland, a lot of people are going out of the state to retire, which is okay, because a lot of people are coming here to retire, but 11% of the population here in Idaho who leave, it's for retirement reasons. And maybe that's a combination of being closer to family, you know, and the benefits of the retirement and being on a fixed income. Maybe they're just looking for different places or they're going to be moving closer to their kids who maybe need grandma and grandpa to help or stuff like that. But retirement seems to draw a lot of people away. And that's the fourth reason why people are bouncing out of Idaho. But this is a great area 
for people to retire too. We do have those 55 plus communities. We have a lot of people who come here thinking they want the 55 plus community, but they end up buying a single family home because you can get a 14 or 1800 or 2000 square foot single level. That's lock and go. You can find something with larger lot. You can find something with smaller lot. You can find something with an RV barn. So it really kind of gives you more flexibility and you don't have the high HOAs that those 55 plus communities charge. So that's a huge thing if you're retiring here and you're gonna be on a fixed income. But that being said, people are bouncing out of Idaho for retirement reasons. Maybe they're throwing us a retirement party. So the fifth reason why people are leaving Idaho is because of change slash weather, <laughs> which is kind of funny because you, you hear people say, oh man, I don't like it here. So there's so many Californians now, it's ruining Idaho and we're like, well, just leave, <laughs> you know, so you don't have to stay here. But that's the fifth reason why people are leaving is because they just want to change. And I get that, you know, some people like to kind of come in, establish for three or four years and then go off on another adventure. Some people come thinking that, hey, Idaho, you know, is just going to be beautiful year round, but you actually get snow in the winter time, and people aren't ready for that. Or maybe it's just too cold or maybe the sun isn't out as much as they thought it was going to be even though it's out quite a bit. And there's just a variety of reasons why people come, but people really um, are leaving because they just wanna change. And I think that's okay, right? I mean, I think people who want that change, great, you know, go find what you're looking for or just mix it up. And that's totally normal, that's totally fine. It creates more room for people to come in and continue to make Idaho great. So I mentioned these reasons why people are leaving, but man, there are so many people coming here because of, you know, things that we talked about in this video, you know, uh, cost of living is really good. There's things to do that are free, you know, mixing it up. People want to change or they're tired of where they're at and they're coming to Idaho because they know people who've moved here. And just to give you an example, our pending home sales are up 187% from where, we, where they were last year at the same time. So we are seeing an influx of people coming. We're going to start to see that supply go away that we've had in that new construction sector for quite some time. People love Idaho. People love kind of like they say, Greg, this is kind of like the last frontier. You know, we want to want to come while it's still good and we want to be part of the growth and we want to be part of the involvement and, and doing good. We're not here to, we're not coming to change it or anything like that. So there's still a lot of good reasons for people to come here. I just wanted to be honest with you and mention why people are leaving because there are houses for sale and people are moving. So people always say, well, man, if it's so good, why are people leaving? Well, those are the top five reasons why. But I think if you come to Idaho and if you just go onto the website and look around at the different houses we have for sale, you'll see, you know, they're newer, everything's, uh, everything's newer you know the cities are growing that's new so if you want to be part of that if you want to kind of just reset and come and be part of this growth and this opportunity Idaho's the place to be we here at the go Idaho team absolutely love helping people get here we've helped over a hundred families in the past two years get here to Idaho and we couldn't be more thrilled to help you and learn more about you so if you are thinking about coming to the Idaho area don't hesitate to reach out we'd love to chat with you I'd love to connect with you and learn more about your situation I want you to come to Idaho but I just don't want you to take my advice even though I think I'm giving you good advice but I want you to hear it directly from a couple who moved from California to see if Idaho is even worth it just click right here to watch